Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about how we can move our Angular UI router partials into their own files. So instead of just using the template property that we used in the object before, we're gonna be using something called template URL and storing those partials in their own files. So let's get going on that right now. So in the last video, we had a really basic implementation of some routing here. And we just said template use this sort of H1 and this sort of H1 here. And basically we were outputting just these, these uh, titles here. And it's not really a true template, right? Uh, in fact, we even commented a bunch of this stuff out uh, because we wanted to add it back in later. And we weren't even using a controller or anything on our new sort of routing templates. So now in this video, we're actually going to be breaking these routes out into separate templates and get this working. Okay, so let's get started right now by First, creating some new template files inside of our directory. We can create a new file that one of them can just be home.html and another one can be, let's make a new file, save this about.html. Okay, and for simplicity's sake, we are just going to drop in these H1s in here. Um, and actually let's change it up. Let's have this say about us just so we can verify that this route is in fact using this template instead of uh, just this about text here. And we'll change this hello to um, homepage, okay? Homepage, like so. Okay, so we now have two new templates. We have .html files in here, yet we need some way to go ahead and reference them in our state provider. So now instead of saying template here, what we can actually say is template and then in camel case, URL. So now instead of passing it a string that's going to be an actual template, we're gonna be passing it a string that's a location to a template. So we can simply just say home.html. And now the reason why we're not putting any sort of path here is just cause I, in this example, essentially just threw all these in our root directory. Now, once this gets a little bit more elaborate, we'll put these in a partials directly, get them out directory, get them out of the way, and then not have to worry about it that way. So let's go ahead and modify this one to about.html as well, and we can change this to template URL, save that. Now, let's go ahead and check out our site. Cool, so I've loaded up our page here, and as you can see, our homepage has homepage, and now if we come to slash about, you can see it does say about us. So in fact, these routes are now using external templates, which is super cool. One thing we can do now is actually take our, this whole directory list, we can cut this out of here. And now I'm just gonna throw it into the homepage page here. And I'm going to uncomment it out. Now I'm actually going to throw a wrapper around it with this ng controller. So we can just have a div here and it doesn't even need a class because I'm not gonna do any styling on it or anything. And we can just simply put this uh, directory controller wrapping around this code. So now you can see, let me get rid of this entirely too. Okay, so now you can see our index page is really just this UI view. Now the UI view is hitting the route and it's going to be rendering this. Once it hits this ng controller, it knows to use the directory controller as dir list. And so let's come to our homepage once more and we should be able to see this totally working just like it was before. So it looks like we have all of our names coming in correctly, showing high names, all this stuff's still working. It looks like one of these images is currently not correct, but I just checked and it, it turns out it's a source problem. It's not a, a problem with the controller here. So I'll go ahead and update that in the code. But other than that, this seems to all be working just like we'd expect. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. In the next video, we're gonna be showing you how you can do things like defining your controller in the router state, and we're gonna be making this a little bit cleaner by moving some things out into their own directories and stuff. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.